Interesting. Oh, okay. I thought he was all healed up. I'm just like, whoa, wait a minute. Alcohol. Alcohol. What is it? Rubbing alcohol. Okay. I don't know why it was a clue or whatever. Fire! Pick up fire! It's a clue. Pick up fire. <laughs> Jeez. I would, be, I would love to see that. Thanks for the patch up, Princess. It might be the only R&R &R I get for some time. Everyone is a princess for you, aren't they? You you may be wondering what I'm doing, but I'm <laughs> just wandering around. I don't know why. My my mission is probably get the fuck out of here. There are no clues here. And you know. What is my mission actually? Guess objective of the Pay Curtis Benson a visit. Okay. I'm going to see my my boss. Or supposed to be my boss. I guess. No, oh, it's already current location. Okay, great. Great, thank you. Hey doc. Are you a doctor? I don't know. Maybe he isn't. Maybe it's just some guy sitting. Oh fuck. Damn. I'm, by the way, I'm recording right now middle of the night. It's 1 a.m. at the moment. So Oh shit. Right, I forgot. I I'm hoping to to hear less noise right now, so So far, even those headphones are quite canceling noise. You can still hear loud noise and I didn't hear any so far. So fingers crossed. You know? But you you notice what kind of noise I'm dealing with, right? Previous videos? It's fucking insane. Really annoying. Wait, are we at we we went to his home? Apartment? Thing? Okay. Remember me? Jack! It's good to see you. You've caught me at a slightly inopportune moment. Can we do this some other time? Back off, Curtis. Move away from the door. Jack, there's no call for that. You're smooth, Curtis. I'll give you that. You try to get me killed and you still manage to be polite about it. Jack! How could you accuse me of having anything to do with that? I want to know all about you and Monroe, Curtis. You give it up or I beat it out of you. Get the fuck out of here, Jack. You're fired. Who do you think you are? Get out of town now while you still have the chance. You have no idea what kind of forces you're dealing with here. I guess we've exhausted the passive options. <clears throat> Sit tight, Curtis. I'm taking a look around. Ah, oh, damn. Oh. No, no, there are two glasses here. Which means two peoples here. Why would we care about this? Good. We shouldn't what care exactly about What exactly do you expect to find, Jim? Oh, hello. How old are you, princess? Sixteen, mister. How old are you really? Nearly thirteen. You take love where you can find it as you get older. Love? That has nothing to do with love, Curtis. Some might find your romantic notions endearing, Jack. I find them very tiring. You're finished, Curtis. That remains to be seen, Jack. I haven't told you about my new job, Curtis. 
DA's investigator. Who do you think the DA reports to, Jack? Get dressed. You're getting out of here. He's not so bad. He just lays on top of me and grunts for a few minutes. He's kind. And he buys me nice things. Get dressed. You're leaving. She will only come back. Punch him. God damn it. Those fucking dudes, they only know fucking slap in the face. Why do we care? This really annoys me though. Those tiny... Hey, look, it's something. No, it's nothing. What exactly do you expect to find, Jack? Shut up, I'm still looking. Was it the other book? What is this? A head of a horse? Why do we care? Okay. Yeah. Fucking clues, man. Hello. Jack, you've made Get a terrible all the mistake. Stockholders, I need to follow the paper trail. Get out while you can. Is it four thousand overall suburban development fund? That's quite a lot of monies. What is this? Uh, the California Fire and Life Department, uh, Life Company, in consideration of the premium of eleven thousand, eleven hundred bucks off. What exactly do you expect to find, Jack? The end to my itchy noise. Uh, to be paid. I knew you were in bed with a lesion, Curtis. Now I know why. Do tell. <laughs> I mean, corruption, obviously. Making monies. Sure. Is there any other reason? Jack, you've made a terrible mistake. No, you made a terrible you know, mistake. What you can. Who leaves vegetables on the counter like this? Why, why am I stuck? What the actual fuck, game? I'm stuck. I cannot move. Okay. What the fuck was that? Jack was just like frozen. I want answers, Curtis. So pay attention. Please, Jack. I'm not a violent man. I don't get it, Curtis. You're vice president of the company. Why take the risk? It's a simple business transaction, dear boy. You're lying, Curtis. Something happened at the company, didn't it? That's why you took the bribe. Bribe? What bribe? How can you accuse me of benefiting ahead of the company? Hmm, how can I? Semi-government agency partially funded by private investment? Sure. 4,000 suburban uh, redevelopment shares at 100 each, made out to Curtis Benson. Yeah. That seems to be fine. I'll go with that. I mean, he benefits. $4,000 suburban redevelopment shares made out to Curtis Benson. I noticed that the share certificates are in your name, Curtis, not the company's. What did you use as collateral? Those sons of bitches in Sacramento. They passed me over for president. Sent me here because they believed it was a backwater. But they were wrong. Los Angeles will become the capital of the West, not San Francisco. This place will be the city of the 20th century. 
and I'm going to get my cut, Jack. You're going to jail, Curtis. You and your cronies. We'll see about that, Jack. Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. You're talking about the future of Los Angeles. You cannot interfere with these plans. Information, Curtis. Business people who have joined forces to meet the demand for new homes. You're lying, Curtis. They're going to burn those movie sets they call houses, and you're carrying the insurance on them. And how do you prove that, Jack? The insurance agreement? I guess. Wait. It's either one or four of those. Uh, you're lying, Curtis. They're going to burn these movie sets they call houses. And you're carrying the insurance on them. Yeah, I think it's the insurance thing. Rancho Escondido burnt to the ground. California Fire and Life is carrying the paper. Jack, the best result you could get from insurance would be replacement cost. The stakes are much, much higher. Why the big payoff in the Buckwalter case? It was bound to bring it to attention. Who could have predicted this particular confluence of events? Elsa Lichtman as the beneficiary who spurns the cash. The brilliant but flawed detective becoming her lover. And you, Jack, taking their bait. You buy green lumber and use it to build houses. How do you expect it to end? Mr. Monroe has a fine reputation for building houses. What would I know about his choice of building materials? You smug son of a bitch. You're lying again. It's an insurance scam, pure and simple. And how do you prove that, Jack? My assessors wrote the policies on the houses. Hmm. That I'm not sure I can prove, actually. Quite sure I cannot prove that. Wait, I need to fucking help. My, my brain is melting. Uh, you're a smug son of a bitch, you're lying again. They, it's an issue. And how do you prove that, Jack? My assessors wrote the policies on the houses. If he says it's his assessors that wrote it, and he sticks it, like he points the finger to Monroe. I mean, he is the insurance company. You know what I mean? He obviously in league with everyone else, but I'm not sure he, he the ones that provides the material. Because Elysian Fields provides it, and we're not it. You know, he's not... I mean, he is in bed with Elysian Fields, but he's California Fire and Life company. So, I'm not sure if this clue would be... Uh, this has no relevancy here. It's nothing personal. I'm just doing my job. You understand that. I'll go with doubt. Give me what I need or I'll beat it out of you. <laughs> it's all there in the case file. If you know what to look for. Very neat, Curtis. Maybe I can't work it out, but Phelps can. He may be many things, but he is one of the best detectives the LAPD has ever had. Your card is marked, Jack. You'll have an unfortunate accident if you don't leave town. Your California isn't the same as mine, Mr. Benson. Not at all. Okay. I hope you're carrying a piece, man. Oh, you need us, actually. That's how we open the door, isn't it? Look here, Sean. Right, we need to go check out the file. I forgot. Let's go, mate. Go check out the file. I hope no accidents will happen on the way. 
That would be weird if it would happen on the way. It is actually interesting to play Kelso though. What is it, the second case? Case? I don't know how to... I mean, we ended one, right? We, we got yeah, ranking. Sort of this is the second one. I I'm guess. just going up to my office party. Gotta check over some files. Take the elevator. First door on the right when you come out. You know the way, Kelso. First door on the right when I come out. No, oh, okay. No surprise in the elevator. Damn. Maybe surprise when we come out of the elevator. I mean, uh, that boss man had uh, Curtis had enough time to call something, someone. Goddamn ruins are having a season from hell. Hey. So, Curtis, what is it you don't want me to see? I don't know. I'm gonna click everything, though. Ooh, I got a habit. 34 degrees, 4 minutes, 29 seconds north. 118 degrees, 17 minutes, 58 seconds west. Okay. No, maybe the stamps? Oh, what is this? There's got to be more in these files. You don't care about this? There's like something written there. There's something else in that report. I know it. Okay. What is this else here? I don't know. What else is in the report? Don't know. I mean, it happened in January, right, 28th. And this is written, the report been written on Mar 1st of March, or March 1st, whatever. Wait. Policy number. And policy number. It's different, isn't it? I, just, I don't know. I'm, I'll. Insured replacement value for the house is nine hundred dollars. Current value of the house and land is thirty-five hundred. Christ, how many of these dumps are we carrying on the books? I have a Detective Phelps of the LAPD here to see you. Have a seat, Cole. Where's the go-between? She's awful easy on the eye for a foreign girl. Does that private dick patter actually work on anyone, Kelso? It's not your style. You were always a little more direct. This is your dime, officer. Would you have helped me if I asked, Jack? A little chuck on the shoulder, shot of Semprify. Fuck you, Cole. Be a man. Why send a woman to do your dirty work? You're a cop. Why do you want my help? I thought a PI might be a little more discreet. I'm no gumshoe. I used to be an investigator for this company before your investigation got me fired. I'm sorry to hear that, Jack. I'm sorry about a lot of things. Is that an apology, Cole? It's a feeble attempt at one, yes. Look, Jack, it's a murder case and I need help to solve it. So what's it got to do with the Legion Fields developments? They're in it somehow. The flyers keep turning up whenever I find a domestic fire. They're boosters. Stiffing GIs for deposits, making them wait months for a throw-up house. They're already making more money than they can count. What's turned them into killers? So you believe me? This is why you dragged me into the Buckwalter case. Look, Jack, I'm sorry. 
But if not for me, do it for some of the poor saps who are dying, or some of the leathernecks who are getting grifted. How about it, Jack? I know you, Cole. You're still beating yourself up over that medal on Sugarloaf. The medal you think you didn't deserve, but you just don't get it. Nobody deserves a medal. It's just the ridiculous situation you find yourself in and how you react to it. You think you failed up on that hill. But courage isn't a tap you can turn on or off. Courage isn't permanent. It's a tenuous and fickle thing. Courage and cowardice exist in every man. Get over it. You got it off your chest. I guess I have. Can you help me, Jack? I'm thinking about it. The Hall of Records is the place to start. <laughs>